here near the Yukon in Jade City, we've got the world's richest deposits of Neperite Jade. And the Chinese want it. <laughs> this is going to be the million dollar rock. Now, we just have to find it. I will dig till my hands bleed. Go! Jade makes people do crazy things. <laughs> Home free to Wolverine. In the jade-rich alpine of northern British Columbia. Our boy is coming. Up in the Cassiar Mountains near the Yukon. He made it. Josh has brought in a truckload of camp supplies to the family's Wolverine mining site. Good morning, you big bastard. The bare necessities right here. <laughs> Let me dress up. <laughs> After securing $800,000 for this season, run it over all four teeth. All four. Alan, Claudia, and Robin now need to hit their investor's target, a million dollars of sellable jade. This season, my hope is that we get at least five grade A boulders. Now, that's a big hope, but that's what we're targeting is we want at least five. Aside from Robin's nephew, Devin, the newest guy on the crew is Jay, a former office manager of a Chinese jade mine who wants to try his hand at Canadian jade mining. Jay's role is to help us with the labor that we need to have um, done, the, you know, the stuff that my guys just don't have time to do. I realize that we need to have a safety meeting whenever, whenever anybody new comes into camp. These guys are coming in here and they're a total fish out of water and we need to make sure that we take care of them. Jay will be on site all summer, trying to learn the ropes. I actually asked Jay, do you understand the term um, duck? Do you understand the term heads up? And he looked at me like I was crazy. Last year, we had George in the mine site, and Jay is his son. You be Daladila. You be Daladila. I think you're saying good jade in Mandarin. I actually enjoyed working with George. He actually knew his jade, and he was a good worker and he didn't break everything. That was kind of nice. Nice. Dollar dealer. No. Don't say yup unless you 100% understand. Yeah. Understand? Yeah. OK. Have you ever used bear spray? No, I don't think just, so. Just to use the Alice house <laughs> <laughs> for, for the mosquitoes. Oh, oh no. Come on, that would work on mosquitoes. I'm very interested in tree mine. I want to try. Live like my father did. I think that Jay is not prepared for what camp life is, but the boys will teach him. Go get your stuff ready. Yes. Thanks for everything, Will. Thank you. Why? Why what? Ben. You want a hug too? Yeah. You're not family yet. Yeah. I will miss you. He's going to fit in. Today, the crew will be on their own. Be safe, OK? Yeah. OK, I'll be here. Take care of my boy. Alan is heading back to China to meet the investors. Find out more jade for me. Claudia and Robin are going to buy more equipment. We need to have two or three excavators on site. It's really crucial that we move more ground. Um, it'll make our mining a lot more effective. Josh is leaving too, back on the trail, driving the crummy, the crew vehicle. He's going to Jade City to get another load of fuel and supplies for camp. I just got here, and then I'm going to go back. And it's a good time. <laughs> if you go to the creek bed there another, what is it, 20 feet? Yeah. Yeah. And if you want there, go right down to the clay. Yep. Thanks, Dev. Well, Robbie's not here. I'm in charge. It's, uh, I just got to keep an eye on everything, make sure the mining's going and the rocks are cutting. And keep an eye on Devin. I got to keep an eye on Jay. It's only the first week of the 100-day mining season, but as lead operator, he wants to have some jade to show Claudia and Robin when they return from the auction. Great AJ, of course, would be nice. But you know what? For me, sellable jade. Just let's make money. You've got to just be persistent and keep looking and keep trying. 
Okay, I'm gonna go get some bolts. I'll get you to attach these. Mm -hmm. We need a screwdriver. You know what that is? No. The camp hand Robin, or R2, gets saddled with breaking in the new guy, starting with the basics. So you will need a flat head screwdriver. The star head, you can yeah. call it a star if you want, mm -hmm. but the name for these are Phillips. So it's like the name Philip. Okay. These are called Robertson. Robertson. Yeah, we call those hex or mm -hmm. Allen wrenches. So just like Allen, we say an Allen wrench. Allen wrench. You know what a drill bit is? This we call a lag bolt. And this is just a bolt. Whoa. I'm not strong enough yet. Oh, I've been mine for 28 years, so I forget. But it's got to be tough for a newbie to come in the field and just hit it all. Oh, but it's physically hard. He should have spent more time at the gym before he showed up. <laughs> that a boy. That'll build up his leg muscles. Bring the wrenches. And my father is an engineer of mining, so I want to be a man just like my father. But this is really hard work. I hate mosquitoes and the forest. OK, that's it. Only a few hours into his first day, and Jay has disappeared. Jay! Jay is uh, missing in action right now. Uh, I think I may have wore him out today, walking through that buck brush and doing hoses. Hello, Jay? Mm -hmm. Jay, you in there? Hey, man. How's it going? Mm -hmm. Ready to come back to her? Let's go. Awesome. You just can't say no out here. You got to get her done. Try not to have a two-hour lunch there, buddy, OK? OK. I made, I made a phone call. Oh, I was on the phone. I'm going, well, last time I was on the phone, I wasn't laying down sleeping. We got a lot of catch up, Jay and I. I'll see how he stands up to that. At an auction in Edmonton, Alberta, Claudia and Robin are trying to scoop up a second excavator for cheap. We want to be more efficient. We want to mine more. We want to move more ground. That's what we want this year is move ground. Let's take a look and see. Yeah, you betcha. That should be the very first one, I think. This makes me nervous, though, with it pushed out. They got to pick the right one because they can it's $100,000 to fix those puppies. It's a gamble. Well, you good. want to make sure you're getting the right machine, because we have to take it a long ways out into the bush. A lot of oil on that one. If it's a major problem, then you're down for a long time. Let's go buy some equipment. Yeah. New excavators can go for over $300,000. Claudia and Robin are hoping to land a used one for less than half that price. They're going to compete against the U.S. market, though, right now. With the low Canadian dollar, the auction has drawn in some big U.S. players with big money. 100,000, baby, one, 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 one. Got to be one, boys, 100, even one, baby, one. 97, 100, 160 already. Wow. I'm really worried I might not get what I want at this auction. I don't know if I brought enough money. What? I'm out. So, this year the prices, they're insane. No. That one. Oh. This one. See? You hear that? Sounds like retirement right there. After an exhausting first day at Wolverine, Jay is getting a lesson on how to identify Canadian jade. A boulder that rings like metal is a good indicator. See the difference? Seems strange. Oh, sounds good, eh? Wow. 
see these mosquitoes. You don't pay attention to mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are not there. So many mosquitoes. <laughs> I'll be right back. Yeah, you got a problem with mosquitoes. Told me there are so many mosquitoes here. But I didn't realize. You're going to have a long summer. Ow. Jay moves on to washing rocks, looking for hints of green on the surface. I want to find some really, really good green tree. That had a good sleep, so I have enough power now. Maybe we can try this. Heat. But I found some real good jade. Where it is? Oh, When you find a good one, you put a special mark on it. Put a rock yeah. on it or something. Yeah. This one sounds OK. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, I found it. The sounds is good. The color is good. Mm. Throw on the saw. We'll show them how to cut. Time will tell. Never judge a book by its cover. I found some real good jade. This too. Jay wants to leave these two boulders intact, a common strategy in Chinese jade mining, selling the potential for a bonanza later rather than the sure thing of a cut boulder now. We shouldn't cut this one. We have to. Why? We have to prove the end. We can, we can see. So good outside. If we keep whole, maybe better inside. If we cut to half, we destroy this tree. I want to keep the mystery, and you will get more money from this this tree. We still got to prove the inside. Okay. Because that won't sell just like that. Which one you want to cut? This. This one. They haven't found enough jade here yet to start selling boulders without cutting them. It's a catch-22 when you cut these. You prove it or you prove that it's not good. So, but we're at the point where we have to prove our jade. Let her rip. Let's go green jade. No, no way. See, told you. The color here is much different from here. Maybe try to cut that side. Hey, Guy, I will cut this again. Just from this, from here. Yeah. So I bet I, you I any money, it's just this. that that's showing. Guy humors the new guy. He gives Jay the rare opportunity to cut the same rock twice. Now we're cutting this one again. We think there's maybe more jade on one side. Humoring new guy Jay by making a second cut on a rock Jay thinks is a winner. Look away. One spot right here. Just this part. We make one bear out of that. Oh, it's the first sign of jade, I guess. Yeah, but it's just like <laughs> this side is more than jade. Yeah, it's jade. Maybe we can cut again. No. Can't be cutting rocks for five times. Yeah, there is jade here. You just need bigger amounts on the same rock. We need lots of rocks with jade. Tons, not ounces. Oh, 60 already. Wow. At an auction in Edmonton, Claudia and Robin are scrambling to get an excavator within their budget. Wow, a hundred thousand over you bet. A hot market has driven prices up, leaving Claudia and Robin with one last machine they want to bid on. Thank you. All right, move to number one for forty-two. We're gonna try. We're gonna try for this one. Dude, a hundred pounds. Let's get it going. That's it. We're done. Can we save 50 grand? <laughs> Finally, they get one. 
we actually got it. Everything else has been running high here, and we got the price we were looking for, so that's a good thing. I hope you did good. <laughs> yep. We're ready to load up and get out as fast as we can now, yep. Not like we weren't broke before, but now we're really broke. <laughs> a truckload of jade and a truckload of money. <laughs> Up at Wolverine, Guy and his crew are running out of time to find some jade before the bosses return. Today, a Robin and Claudia are coming in. So it'd be nice to have one rock with lots of jade in it. So we got a couple hours yet. All the painted ones sound good, but we haven't cut one good one yet. So. The only jade found so far is too small to sell. 2% of a rock that's jade is not worth cutting because it costs too much to get there. So. Well, just got to keep trying. Down on their luck, the crew wants to take a chance on a unique rock. Let's make this the one, hey, Jay? Water runoff from the saws is starting to become an issue. The water's just going everywhere. Mm -hmm. Then we got a direct flow, so okay. it stays in the channels. When we're handling a big rock, and if we slip, we can go under it and really get hurt. Make waterways, right? OK. So yeah, scoop all this mud out of here. Yeah, perfect, just like that. Yeah, just drag oh. my back. Oh, it just twins? Yep. Oh. I can't do this. I'll be right back. Don't worry, I won't charge you for the endorphin release. That's a bonus at the end. Open up your channels here. Other side of scapulae. Jay pulled it back a little earlier there, stiffening up. So you better fix them up so you can uh, get out there and keep working. The more it hurts, the deeper your breaths, OK? All the same time. I'm the camp medic. I'm also a bit of a massage therapist, you can call it. Big breath. Stay relaxed but I don't do that nice relaxation massage. I like being effective. <laughs> Quite a bit of pain, but he's gonna thank me later. I'll come get you in about three hours. Well, we're down a man. So, you and me. Okay. Let's crack this bad boy open. Right, let's see what's in that egg. Cross your fingers. That only took, what, three hours? Three hours. Guy and R2 have run out of time. Claudia and Robin are on their way back from spending big bucks on an excavator, but there'll be no new jade to show them. It'd be nice to have a nice, even bee carving piece they're laying cut up, but not gonna happen today, so. Like I said yesterday, tomorrow. Let's see what's in that egg. That only took, what, three hours? Three hours. Two weeks into the season, and the crew at Wolverine has yet to yield a single boulder of jade. It's not funny anymore. At this point, we're getting pretty desperate, and we want to see jade. That's what we're here to mine, not stones. Yeah, Robin and Claudia are flying in today, and we're coming up with nothing. What can I say? You have to figure something out here. Did you find Jade? Is your pockets full of Jade? Claudia and Robin are back from the auction after buying a second excavator. A Jade boulder would help pay for the new purchase. How are things going? Not a whole lot of production, that's for sure. After spending three days trying to build Jay up, R2 now concedes the new guy is slowing them down. A lot of holding hands, babysitting. Oh, good attitude and everything, but just not cut boot for it, right? You gotta be able to lift 20 pounds. Okay. 50 would be even better. It looks like all of the early signs of Jade here turned up nothing once the rocks were cut. We're not gonna have one, one ounce.
Every night, pray for that boulder. And if you're really anxious, pray for a five. Well, I'm not a praying kind of guy, but I would like to show you the one two-inch jade we got. He takes them to see the rock Jay had found the previous day. Can't be jade. Yeah, it's jade. You'll see. Can't be jade on the inside. What's that? Yep, it's jade. It's beautiful. Triple A. If the whole rock was like that, it'd be the goods, eh? Little tiny bits of green to show that we actually have jade on the property is huge for us. That's beyond bangle jewelry. Doesn't get any better than that. No. Nope. But we have to find it. No, so we keep digging until we find another one. That's just like it. Josh arrives with another truck full of fuel and supplies. You survived. <laughs> <laughs> How did I do that? It didn't stop. And everyone is excited to show him the latest find. Found the nicest jade ever. You found your own jade? Like, you found jade here? Right here? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you want to see? Come see Josh and me. Get ready, right Josh. There. No way. <laughs> I was thinking about this the whole way in here. I'm just so... Whoa! Look at it. Right there, right now, you have jade right there, right yep. now. It's just... Yeah. Little. Yeah. <laughs> but it resists. It's a baby. I'm so proud. Yeah. Took Grandpa six years till they had this moment, so. We have 4,000 acres here. We're only on five or 10 acres right here mining. Could it just be one more foot ahead of us? That's the gamble. Next time on Jade Fever. Could be the mine inspector. What have you got for a first aid room now? Where's the helicopter stretcher? So it's fine. fine. I thought we for sure had one here, but we don't. One slip, one wrong move, we're nothing to a 10 ton boulder. Whoa! You might get the person in the hospital in two hours. Where are you from? Someone to smell? Ah! Kate, get that arm. Yes. We're in trouble here. Ah! Not having that for a decade.